I'll tell you that the most recent stuff that I could find was in the Topanga League. And in that, Gachikun versus Daigo won 7 to 4. That was Gachikun who took it mm, okay. in that set. But Daigo has known now for most of a day who he's going to be playing against. And his ability to game plan and think ahead for first rounds like this, just about unparalleled. <laughs> Prep time Daigo. That prep time Daigo. Now, it's not full-time prep time Daigo. That's something we talk about when it's like you know a week or two in advance. That's not the case here. But nevertheless, he's had some time. But again, like I said, they have a lot of experience against each other. They're not coming into this thing blind. Gachika got third in that Topanga Championship. Daigo got sixth. So both pretty good. Uh, Gachika also wanted to say, look, up until now, nobody's won both the CPT and the EVO. In the yeah. same year, in Street Fighter 5. Sure. He wants to be the first to do it. Daigo says, I'm going to show the potential of Guile. <laughs> and look at this, dude. I mean, like, Gachikun has been playing Rashid for pretty much this whole entire time. A character who has very rarely dropped in the tier list. Daigo, he tried, a, like, Ryu and a couple of other characters, but as soon as he found Guile, everything changed. And here we go! The first match is underway! Evo Top 8, let's! Go! We're talking about all first to threes here in this top eight, just to set the stage. Daigo just like that, fighting out. Again, obviously Rashid, one of the biggest strengths of this character is he is able to take you and put you into the corner off of just about any combo. And so Daigo will be fighting out of that corner a lot. Oh, really important to have seen even at the beginning that Gachikun was willing to jump in and set the stage like that. Daigo fighting out really well. It's not all about booms, of course, for Garl. He's got a lot of other tools, but as he tries it, Gachikun gets the corner again. Ah, uh, the first EX wake up flash kick. Daigo establishing that right away. One of the hardest people to read whether he's going to EX flash kick or not. He put a little stutter in there. Gachikun did not take the bait. Watch out for the critical art. Ah, the, the shimmy to finish off the round. Daigo getting the throw, and you know, obviously, if you're rooting for America, you're rooting for a player like Idom, but so many fans here in the stadium, Daigo represents fighting games to them. And can you imagine the storyline if Daigo can win this year at EVO for Street Fighter V? Holding on to that oh. spot well. Gachkin again with the jump, empty as you could see. Back to this neutral over here. You can see them both fighting for the stage position right now. So much of what it's about is about that third oh. screen. He jumps in yet again, this time with the roundhouse. But yes, of course, both of them would like to be up close pressuring. Guile's also cool from range, but that one third screen, we'll take a look at it once we get back to it again. That's what this is going to be largely about. Here's yeah. Gachikun in the corner. And smart for Gachikun to use that V shift, V break. I, I, we didn't have that last time when we were here at EVO. And so that's a new mechanic for people who aren't uh, familiar with it. But Rashid's V-Break, very good range. So able to help fight against the Sonic Boom pressure. Oh, Dago did not expect that hit. Yeah, looking yeah. for confirms, looking for crush on that. Gachikun is starting to get in trouble though. He's got resources oh, and he's finally hit. He's gonna do it he right there. And he's gonna go into the super just to make sure. Obviously expensive there to use all the resources to just drain a couple of pixels. But it's fine getting the round. So important, especially against a player like Daigo. Just the first game here. Anti-air's there. Gachikun with his eyes open. He's got the corner yet again. Guile hiding out in the cave. He's made his way out. Ooh, gets the crush counter sweep, sets up the safe jump, punishes the V-shift. And Daigo once again trying to fight out into this corner. Like I said, this is what we're going to see a lot of. Mm. A little too far. Here's Gachikun again pressuring up close. Yeah, waking up with a shimmy and getting the punish as well. He's got his trigger ready to go. Daigo not letting it happen easily. Then it's some cash in order to try to build space. Yeah, he tries it yet again. Here's Gachikun up close. Just actually builds meter for him. He knew it. And he knew it. He had just actually by hitting Daigo, given him that EX meter. And he saw it there on the bottom left side of your screen. He knew it was coming up. Game one, Gachikun. Uh, again, as you mentioned, a three out of five here. So it's just one game. Daigo, of course, great at making the adjustments, but Gachikun. Capcom Cup champion, like I said, obviously of that pedigree that can... It's just so hard to fight against. He's so good at making the adjustments himself. Look, he's been fourth at EVO before. By the way, he started off the round in the same way he started off the first round of the first game. Delay, then jump in. This time blocked only. Yeah, and one of the key things in that last round that we saw, the closing round, 
So, so look at this, we got the V break again, but he's also got the V skill one to be able to roll through Sonic Booms and punish there. Yeah. He's got himself set up so that he is using all of his resources to fight against the Sonic Boom pressure. And again, it's about that one third screen range, right? We see battling back and forth in and out. Keep in your mind's eye if you can. About a third screen between these two characters and look at them walking in and out of that range constantly. Yep, you saw right there a preemptive attempt to V-shift and V-break through a Sonic Boom. Now gotcha can run up and try to throw. Daigo with the check, though. gotcha Kun was going to try to go for another throw. Nice counter hit combo confirmed by Daigo, but one combo from gotcha Kun can still take this round. Mm -hmm. Daigo steaming. Suddenly dashing, suddenly movement. Ooh. He's found the hit. The yeah. unorthodox timing of those EX booms, Gachikun just did not expect the double resources spent so fast. I mean, is there, like, Daigo is known for being very stoic and very hard to read, but he actually looks nervous to me. I don't know if it's just me. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Got bullet time action. <laughs> and now Gachikun. Oh, oh, gets the crush counter, the stun. How much resources do you think he's going to spend for this? Just the one bar, okay? Just get down to where a grab or a combo will kill. That is the name of the game. If you can't outright kill, get it down to one decision. Gotcha Kun now trying to go up 2-0 over Daigo. Again, the weight, the jump. He started off so many of these rounds in just that way. He's got Oof. a great read on Daigo's tendencies. Yeah, well, Daigo, again, he got one EX flash kick baited. He is the kind of player that it refuses to let you train him yes. and take away one of his best options. The harassment. And Daigo with his back to the tunnel. It's like, I feel like he's been there for a majority of the match. And look at this, low profiling under the jump attack. Goes for the reset, meaty into the throw. Daigo now trying to tie this up, one to one. Out of there. Oh boy. Looking for big stuff there was Gacha Kun. Oh, but you yes. know what, Daigo's fine with this. He's got the side switch now. But again, like I said, Rashid, so good at controlling his position on the screen. But Daigo also one of the best at finding the opportunities to dash forward like yeah, that. absolutely. There punish. it is, and it's enough, just barely. Actually, it wasn't truly a punish. Not sure what Gacha Kun was doing, but he just got caught low. And we are tied one to one. I hope you all are paying attention at home to that one third screen range between these two and Rashid jumping over it, both of them walking in and out of it, each of them trying to hit each other at that spot. Yeah, that back fist covers some of it. Here's the empty jump low for Gacha Kun. Again, putting Daigo under the bridge, hiding under there like a troll. He's stuck. Gacha Kun finds the stun. He's got great situation for himself in the corner now. He still needs more. Okay, here we go. And now the shimmy there for Gacha Kun to finish out that round right there. Of course, you know, shimmying basically, you trick perch someone into thinking you're gonna throw them. They try to tech, causes you to whiff your throw and you punish it right afterwards. First time Paco's been on the side in a long time. It has almost <laughs> all been him getting cornered and yes, fighting out sometimes, but he's been stuck in the corner oh, a lot. Oh no, he just a little too close. That B reversal put him a little too far away from that standing medium punch to connect. But as a result, he's got Daigo back to where Daigo's basically been living mm -hmm. at this point. Oh! Daigo builds some V meter with the crush, got a big combo, got space for himself. And again, the anti-air from Daigo, ready to go. And you oh, see that action? action? Yeah, exactly. No fear at all in Daigo's heart. But a shimmy again from Gacha Kun. And guess what? You're in the corner again. Yep, over here by the bananas this Woo! time. Here's Daigo. He had a hit, but didn't believe in the rest. Yeah, but now you got to watch out. Lower overhead. Shimmy didn't punish. No whip punish from Daigo. He chucked ah! it. The shimmy right there after the jump, getting Gacha Kun to finally whip the throw. The tension of that moment. <laughs> Again, Daigo really doing a good job now at finding a lot of normals. He's, oh, suddenly Gacha Kun with the sweep. Sets yeah. up attack. Here he is, yet again, back in the corner, hanging out with his buddies, the dancers. Nice, sweeping the Sonic, the Sonic oh. Blade startup. Daigo trying to interrupt the cancel. One more mix-up into stun. It's gonna be the throw. Gacha Kun should go up two to one.
Gotcha, Kuhn. Feeling a little comfortable here now. Two to one over Daigo. Is Daigo going to go immediately to the loser's bracket here at the start of top eight? Obviously, you don't want to go to that loser's bracket. No. It is so scary down there. He dashed into the start. There have been so many jumps. Daigo actually both had the same choice to move forward at the beginning, and Gachikun got there first. And like that, he's got the corner yet again. Mm, finally trying to jump over a sonic boom, and Daigo not throwing the sonic boom, getting the flash kick anti-air. But again, you can see Daigo not always just sitting there crouching, charging up the sun. Oh my god, again, the wake up EX flash kick. Well, if he gets knocked down again, he's not going to have those EX resources for a little while. Yeah, so Gachikun can approach. But the thing about it for Gachikun, I mean, and for a lot of players, when you get hit by an EX wake up like that, you take a little bit of damage, you're back on your feet, get to neutral again. And if you can convince the opponent that you're hit, getting hit by it all the time, then you bait it out and then you punish it. And then you go up to match point versus Daigo, right? That's we all that's where we all get that, right? <laughs> but it's Gacha Kuna, like I said, former Capcom Cup champion, he's so strong. And again, one of the masters of Rashid. And he's one round away from sending Daigo to loser's bracket. He's done a fantastic job of making it so Daigo can't easily do what he'd like to do. Control that space. Keep Rashid out. Oh. Rashid's got all these tools. And he's going to... No, not no, quite there! was fast enough to punish. It was the right read. Instead, offensive V-Rev. Guile pressuring. Oh. No, not for long. Gachikun with a hit. And try to push him all the way back to the corner. Goes for the throw, but a nice tech. That's not enough to kill, but it's just one more mix-up. The trade, and Gachikun will take it. 3-1 over Daigo Umahara and move on in the winner's bracket. Gachikun with the W, as we said, like he had done in Topanga. Moving forward, and it, you know, as I was saying, I was really impressed. Same when I've seen him in the past. And his style versus a guy or versus anybody who'd like to control the stage with projectiles, he can not just with the character, but with his own timings, really do a great job of denying that control. You talked about some of his techniques for sure. The V skill is a big part of it. The V shift into V break is a big part of it. But it's just also regular stuff that any character has. Yeah. His jump timings were fantastic. Mm -hmm. Those were amazing. It's not easy to jump in against somebody like Daigo, who typically has a great read on when the opponent would like to move forward in that way. And then by setting up all of those jumps, he was able to get that dash in near yeah. one of the final rounds at the beginning, which again got him quickly into the corner. So it was just a ton of reads. Uh, I'm thinking about his stand fierce right to whiff punish or wish punish, basically, versus some of what Daigo was trying to do, his normals that Daigo was using. It just got shut down over and over again. <laughs> I mean, 